There once was a ship of fiberglass, most 3D printed, super fast. The sun melted one side of it, but Daniel did not give up. Planned a mission, our two rovers, so many waypoints all in order. Flip it into auto mode, and off Daniel did go. GPS will lead the way from dusk to dawn, he'll sail all day. Batteries charged by the sun, until the night falls it will run. L-I-F-E-P-O for the best batteries that ever were. 10 amp power capacity and 6 of them in store. As he ventured through Seattle, both propellers sure did rattle. You won't believe me when I say it didn't even matter. This is the third video in my solar-powered autonomous catamaran tugboat video series. If you want to see how I built this thing, check out the first two videos. In this video, I set out to Lake Washington to see if my creation can handle a full day of pulling me around Seattle in my kayak. For this whole mission, the boat would be autonomously following a nearly 20-mile waypoint route that I programmed into its ArduPilot-based flight controller on board. With about 750 watts of power in the batteries and 200 watts of solar power coming from the panels, I was pretty confident I would be able to drive all day. I set out to the lake, inflated my kayak, mounted the solar panels, and set sail. Okay, finally, here we go. Climbing into the boat. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna put it in auto mode. Boop. And we are on our way. Woohoo! Going pretty quick. <laughs> I gotta turn down the speed so that we don't wear out the batteries too fast because the sun is not very intense right now. Already, I had to make an emergency turn to avoid that swimmer. It's gonna be a busy day on the lake. Okay, back into auto mode. I just split the rowing team in half. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going right through the middle. <laughs> My path is slowly intersecting with some swimmers, but I think I'm gonna beat them. Yeah, I built it! It's solar powered. So when I was planning the waypoint mission, it was really hard to judge where to draw the line underneath bridges. I was using Google Earth a little bit because they have a 3D view on there where you can kind of see where the bridge pillars are, but it's not super good. So, uh, so hopefully my autonomous mission is accurate enough in shooting through the gaps, but there's construction here. So I'm thinking that things might've changed since the Google imagery data was taken. Dang, so I did have to do a manual override because of all this construction. We were gonna go through the gap on the other side, but there's a barge there right now. Oh, there's a tugboat right there. Wow, we're about to go through the tugboat wake. Oh wow, this is a lot of turbulent water. Oh, it's getting blown away. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm getting pushed. It's a busy work day out on the water. Got all sorts of stuff going on. I hear welding, tugboats, autonomous tugboats. Hell yeah. So I've got my laptop charging off this LiPo right here. It's an 8 amp hour 3 cell. Basically, I just have this little boost converter that steps the voltage up from 12 to 19. So that's fun. That's totally not sketchy. What are you talking about? Rogue wave! Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, geez, I better slow down. So when I first started, the max speed was set to 2 meters per second. And the boat's only able to go about 1.7 or 1.8 meters per second. Um, but that uses a lot more power, so I turned it down to 1.2 meters per second, and now I think that's a pretty efficient cruise speed, so we're doing good. Might have to turn it down even lower to like one meter per second if the battery voltage starts to drop too much. We'll see. Damn it, I gotta be more careful. I just accidentally cut a big slit in here. Oh well, I have tape. I'm gonna see if I can patch it. At least that's just the seat. Oh, that was so dumb. Okay, manual override. We got fishermen throwing lures out here. I don't want to run over their lures. My waypoint mission got too close to the shore. This is a very risky part of the mission. I programmed it to go under a bridge that's over there, but that bridge is not very tall at all. So I don't even know if I'll be able to make it underneath. Oh my God, if this works, I'll be so amazed. Oh, it's gonna make it. It's gonna make it, holy shit. I don't know if my computer's gonna make it, but holy shit, I got a duck. Oh, 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 we made it! Oh, it's so good! I didn't even have to manually control it. Wow. Okay, now we're in the swamp.
We're really close to the bridge, but it seems like the GPS is still doing fine. In the past with my autonomous boats, the GPSs would get really wonky when you go underneath a bridge. So we'll see what happens today. Get out the way. Wow, I can see the bottom here. It's pretty shallow. I will not be surprised if I get some seaweed tangled in a propeller. Seems like it's still working fine right now, so I'll, I'll check for seaweed later. Or if something starts to seem weird. Here we go, the next bridge is coming up. This one looks a little bigger though. It should be easier. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be easy. The boat is kind of zigzagging, so I think there probably is some weed stuck on one of the props. Woo! This one's bigger. This one's way bigger. That was easy. Now let's pause right there for a minute while I tell you about the sponsor of this video. Ritual Essential Protein. Sometimes when you're working on your autonomous boat all day, you don't have time to think about getting all the vitamins and minerals you need. That's when Ritual comes in. It makes it easy to help supplement your diet. Maddie, what do you think about this? This seems so interesting. I'm always looking for a plant-based dietary supplement. Do you think Banji should have some? Yeah. yeah, I do. Ritual Essential Protein Daily Shakes supports the maintenance of lean muscle mass and promotes healthy active aging for everyone not just athletes. It contains all nine essential amino acids, providing a complete amino acid profile, helping to build lean muscle mass and satisfy appetite, and maintain bone health. It also contains choline to support brain health and fill dietary gaps. Ritual makes it easy. Just add one scoop to eight to 12 ounces of any cold liquid and shake it up. The delicious vanilla flavor is handcrafted using direct from farmer, Vanilla bean extract sustainably harvested in Madagascar. My favorite way to have ritual protein is to blend some up with a banana, some peanut butter, and cold water. It makes it smooth, creamy, and absolutely delicious. Mmm. Get 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com slash flight and using code F-L-I-G-H-T at checkout. Huh, Banj? Hell yeah. I just checked for seaweed. There was only a little bit wrapped around the propellers. It wasn't too bad, so I got that off. And now we're about to go through the Mont Lake Cut, which is kind of a canal with a bridge over it. That guy's just trolling right now. I hope I don't hit him. Full steam ahead. There was this guy fishing in a little dinghy that made me take it out of auto mode. And then it got all screwed up and then the computer froze because it's a piece of garbage. And then I started drifting into a yacht. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Sick, man. I'm about to get run over by a fucking yacht. Oh God, this is not a high point in my life right now. Also, Jesus Christ, this is not ideal. There's so much water going over the solar panels. <laughs> but now we're good and I got it back into auto mode. The bridge didn't seem to screw with the GPS signal too much, so that's good. Now we're back on the road again, cruising. I patched my slice with electrical tape. It seems to be holding okay so far. Wow, wee. There's a guy riding an e-foil over there. Got another bridge gap coming up. Let's see if we make it. My stupid computer is such a piece of crap. It won't work at all. That's where all the rowers go right there. So many boats. Wow, wow, wow. The bridges are so cool. Oh, and there's Seattle coming into view. That is a wide ass boat. Holy cow. Oh, there's a sweet crane barge. Wow, they're coming in for a landing. There's a big boat, hello. That tugboat looks very top heavy. Oh, there's a forklift going to pick up some boats. Get out of my way. It's autonomous too, so it just, it's running a waypoint mission. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun. <laughs> just testing it out. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, I've got to make a detour. I need to put this thing in manual mode and head to the park over there on the shore because I have to pee. Oh wow, there's a cool houseboat. Hi. Um, yeah, it's just for fun. Just for fun. Uh-huh. Okay. Wanted to see if I could build a solar-powered boat that would pull me. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm adjusting the mission a little bit since I had to take a pit stop at the park. Okay, going back to auto mode. Now we're going to take a turn and cross this channel and then go over through Lake Union, which is close to downtown Seattle. It turned out to be a good time to cross this channel because I don't see any other boat traffic. Okay, it's time for some sunscreen. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be a long day. There's so many houseboats around here. It's like a whole city on the water. It's pretty cool. Imagine living right there. Wouldn't it be nice? Oh, it's like a wooden boat. Oh, I think that's one of the hot tub boats that people rent around here. It's a tugboat, solar powered. That would be so cool to live right in there. How about that? Careful with that razor blade, a big incision it has made a good thing it was just the seed or surely you'd be sunk. Sea planes are coming in hot, you'd think they'd crash but surely not. Daniel wishes he flew one, but for now a dinghy's all he's got. The headwind was blowing stiff, the boat was smaller than a skiff, but the big solar panels kept those big propellers turning. Full speed across Lake Union under bridges Only one crewman, beautiful yachts passing by Feel big kayak energy We got some pretty big ships over there, that's cool Looks like a ferry or something, I don't know But this stupid computer keeps freezing uh Oh, I almost hit another rowing team Ah, work you freaking piece of crap We got some dry docks over there That's where they fix the boats that's pretty cool. Oh, I love old grungy nautical industrial stuff. Uh oh, we got another crew team ahead. Get out of my way. This guy looks like he might be coming in to land right on top of me. I'm chewing on beef jerky right now. That's why I sound like there's something in my mouth. Mmm, beef jerky is good. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a killer whale. How neat is that? They come in so steep. That's pretty cool. Touchdown. Bingo. Oh, I think they go negative with the variable pitch propellers. That's so cool. They slow down so fast. Oh, wow, more cool boats. Look at that one. What do you think it does? No idea. Oh, look at that. The American number one. It must just influence the world with Americanness. No idea what something like that does. Maybe it's like a submarine cable laying boat or something. More boats. Ocean prowler. Oh, neat. That's pretty good. Oh, there's some more seaplanes over there. Those are some little ones. We are now approaching the south end of Lake Union. Um, what was that? Wow. Sick. Wow, I wonder how much that costs. Not cheap, but neither is this thing. Fiberglass and epoxy are expensive, I learned. How are Snake Alley doing? Um, I think it's holding up. Doing all right. There's the center for wooden boats. So, how much power is that thing put out? Like 25, 50 watts or something? Uh, more than that, it's uh, it's doing 15 amps at about 13 volts. Maybe close to 200 or above that. I don't know. Bad at math. Wow. Thanks. That's pretty cool. Oh, that boat was in the way. He had to go around again. Those look very old. And he's up. Sick. That's pretty cool. So we just turned a big right hand turn in front of uh, South Lake Union. Now we're gonna head up the west side of the bank here and then go down the canal. I don't know what it's called, but down towards the west more. Oh, he came around again. Oh yeah, sick. Oh, it's more boats, imagine that. Boat garages. Oh, they better move because I'm coming in hot. Okay, I had to do manual override because we got a few boats up ahead, including a hot tub boat. Hello. Wow, that person's playing the violin. Boats, 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 boats. So many boats, boats. The next bridge we're gonna go under is the Aurora Highway 99 bridge over there. Catamaran buddies, yeah. Aww. Oh, I think they're gonna put the drawbridge up for us. Yep, there it goes. Wow, that's pretty cool. The bridge just went down, so there's gonna be a lot of boat traffic coming through. And I just took a hard right turn to cross the canal now, so hopefully we don't run into anyone. I think we'll be good. I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit there. Oh, we'll be fine. That's a nice looking tugboat. Wow, it's so tall. Uh-oh, here come some waves. Oh, wow, that was a big one. The computer's hanging on. Wow, so much metal. 
Amazing. Now we gotta go underneath the Fremont Bridge up ahead. The ballard locks did loom ahead, the boat hulls painted us so red. Solar panels pumping amps and brass propellers turning. So many rusting ships, ice cold water, perky nips. Daniel needed to go pee, but to stop would be a travesty. Yo ho, the boat did sail through the channel over a whale. Daniel's crappy laptop froze, but the mission onward still did go. Sail straight through the rowing team, like an asshole he did seem. Oh, but little did they know the course was set in stone. Ah, we cut it pretty close to the edge here. Precision GPS tech. Technology. Wow, we're gonna drive a boat under a dump truck. Oh wow, and we got a pirate ship. We're fighting a pretty good headwind going up this canal here. So I brought this foam cooler as like an emergency bail device. If I start to sink, I can throw all the electronics in here. We're making great progress despite the headwind. We're just paralleling the running path here. So I just set the boat to loiter mode, so it's using GPS position to try and actively hold itself in the same place. Oh, it's fighting me. Wow. Powerful little guy. I'm gonna just put it in hold mode, actually. Oh, wow, we're blowing downwind pretty quick. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some water in there. Look at that. Oh, boy. And we're drifting into the rocks. Oh, shit, I gotta put this thing back in drive mode. I'm gonna make sure there's no seaweed on the props oh that one's good this one's good all right back in business let her out nice and easy nice and easy there we go okay back in auto mode it'll turn back to stay on the right side of the waterway incoming we're kind of in the middle of the channel. Hopefully this guy doesn't mind. Yeah, thank you. Wow, they have a pretty big solar panel there too. Nice. They got two solar panels, that's awesome. Wow, look at this big old barge. That thing is chunky mungus. So we just exited this channel and now we're kind of going into this uh, industrial area. Research, I wonder what that place is. Interesting. This barge was probably not here in the satellite imagery when I was planning this mission, so I'm lucky we're not too close to it. The Western Provider. I'm kind of like a barge right now, and that's my tugboat. Oh yeah, it looks like they do gravel here. Oh, there's another barge over there. Oh, what's this? We got some metal boats. It's getting more wavy out now. We got some beastly tugboats. Wow, that looks like a big tugboat sort of thing. I don't know, that thing is giant. Wow, we're cutting it pretty close to this one. <laughs> wow, look at those cables back there. Gatorade bottle for reference. A Western ring. Wow. So many tugboats, oh my god. Oh, there's a chunky boat, wow. We got some dry docks over here. Oh boy, look at that smokestack. Holy cow, Western Titan. Oh yeah. Oh boy, that one's in dry dock. Wow. Oh, I wonder what that thing is. I saw a torpedo looking thing over there a second ago. It must be some sort of like underwater cable laying device or something. I don't know. It was cool. Oh, that's adorable. There's all the big crab fishing boats or something. Got some more over here. I can hear people in the hole working, grinding and welding and stuff. This one looks like a fishing boat maybe? Yeah. Wow. This might be the biggest one yet. I don't even know what this thing would do, but it's got a crane on the front. This thing is huge! Icicle Seafoods. Oh, it's a fishing boat or something. That's a big ass fishing boat. Jeez, I've never seen one that big. We're checking out my boat. You're gonna get trapped. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have to automatically drive a horse? Yeah, it's on a GPS waypoint mission right now. There's a funny little house. That's a funny looking boat. This thing better turn, because we're heading straight for that barge. Uh, that, all these boats might, oh, there we go, we just turned. Wow, we're coming in pretty close. This stuff might not have been here when I was planning the mission. Here's some dudes. Oh, I wonder what that thing is. Oh, 
it's opening. I think that's the Ballard Bridge. We'll see if the Waypoint mission can go through this without any manual intervention. I believe this is the Seattle Maritime Academy or something like that. The Vulcan. Ooh, that's an ominous name. I wonder what that thing does. Oh, it just turned off. Why'd my boat turn off? Oh, wow, look at that. There's a boat going through the bridge. Uh-oh, we just completely died. Now I'm getting blown into the main shipping canal. I power cycled it, and now I'm gonna try and arm again. Oh, we're alive. Woo, okay, now I gotta connect to it and resume the waypoint mission. I have no idea why it just died like that. That's kind of scary. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in auto mode. Hopefully this works. Woo! Uh, I don't know if it's going in the right direction. Finally, okay, now we're back in business. Now let's see if it can autonomously go under this bridge. Oh wow, look, a lifeboat. I might need one of those pretty soon if this uh, Artie rover keeps dying on me. There's a nice boat garage. Oh, we got a lot of fishing boats coming up. Those are like the deadliest catch boats. So our final destination is now in view. The Ballard Locks are up ahead. If we go through there, we'll be in the ocean. So we're gonna turn around right by the Ballard Locks. And then it'll be downwind, unless the wind changes, which I would not be surprised. So the battery voltage is now down to 12.8, which is really not that low considering how far we've gone. But it's not nearly as low as I would have expected considering that we've been going into the wind this whole time. But uh, worst case scenario, we just lower the speed a little bit and then they charge back up. That's the beauty of a solar boat. Hello. No, I do want to be pulled by it. It's my tugboat. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, wow. There's a big sailboat. That looks like another gravel barge or something. Got some more interesting looking boats up on the left. Oh, boy, there's another big one. There's another big catamaran. Pretty sweet. Look at this grungy old thing. The Coast Angel. That boat looks like it's getting hauled off to the boat junkyard. And I'm going right into it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, we're turning now. Good, good. The Ocean Guardian. Sick. Look at that big bulbous bow. Common misconception about bulbous bows. They do not work at this scale. The bow wave is way too long relative to the hull. Bulbous bows only work for big boats. Here's an empty dry dock. So, look at the computer here. Yeah, we're pretty close to the end of this mission. Uh, where it turns around at least. I wonder what that thing does. We got another lifeboat over there, it looks like. So right on the other side of that barge is the Ballard Locks. Um, you can see a boat going into it there, sailboat mast. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, we must be getting pretty close to turning around here. It's like a, another crane barge all folded down over there. Oh wow, look at all those old boats. That must be the boat dump. Damn, I should take one of those and make it autonomous. I'm just going straight for the end here. <laughs> I didn't remember planning the mission to go so far back. Okay, there we go, now we're turning. Wow, why is it go? Okay, it, this is really scaring me. It's turning last minute. And this is the Army Corps of Engineers. And we are cutting it very close to the end here, holy cow. All right, we just turned around, heading back. That's a firefighting boat. I bet this is all just crap that they pull out of the water. This must be one of the pump houses that drives the locks or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there's a drudging bucket. Dredging? Drudging? I don't know. Grand Princess. That's a funny name for a lifeboat. This barge might not have been here when I planned the mission. Uh, okay, buddy. Are you gonna turn? Nope. Okay, I'm turning you. Oh, geez, got so close. Oh, there's the pirate ship. Oh, good. It just hit a waypoint, and now it turns to go to the other side of the canal here. Conveniently, right in front of that boat. Wow. The Highland Light. Look how grungy this thing is. It's got a dinghy up there. Nice dinghy. So with the tailwind, the motors are, like, barely even on because we're already reaching the target speed with so little power. So I can kind of influence the throttle a bit higher there. Um, you have some influence on the target speed set point. So I'll just increase that so that the motors are actually running as we're going back with the wind. And we'll just be cruising. Let's see what our speed is. Looks like we're doing about 1.5 meters per second. Looks like there's a fire or something going on over there. Here's some nice looking yachts. Oh, oh, taking waves. Look at this sailboat. Holy cow, Amonga. 
That thing is tall. Wow. I like that color. That's a nice color. Here's a nice cluster. We already saw all these from the other side. Oh, looks like our boat wants to go see them. Uh-oh. Those might not have been parked there when I planned the mission. Oh, wait, it's turning. Oh, we might be lucky. Oh, yeah, I think we're lucky it turned. Oh, I thought it was going to go in there. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. What's for lunch today? Mmm, some mush. Here we are coming up on the Ballard Bridge. Let's hope that this doesn't run into a pillar. Oh, they might open it. Sixteen eight fifty. It's almost like an 18650. Okay, I'm about to go back through the canal, but first I think I need to do a little bit of housekeeping. Check for seaweed on the props. Oh, there's a little bit. Pump away. Okay, well now that I'm right about to drift into a barge, I should probably put it back into auto mode. Got some sandbag moving going on over there. These little houseboats are just so cute. Look at that, that one's got a little outboard motor. Adorable. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's solar powered. Oh boy, oh boy. There's another boat coming, I didn't see that. I'm gonna dodge all these damn boats. Here we go, wake jump. Oh, that was a lot of water on the solar panel. Kinda turn, turning, turning into the wind is very hard. Okay, going back into auto mode. Seaplane flying right through the canal. The pirate ship again. Did you have like a set map program? Yeah, I just program in a bunch of waypoints and then it just follows them. Ooh wee, we're getting pretty close to the edge on this one. I think this is the Fremont Bridge. Wow. Here we go, about to go under the 99 bridge. Yeah. That's real cool. Thanks. It's solar powered. You make it up? Yep. Badass. That is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, solar powered, all electric. <laughs> hey, look, that's my same kayak, pretty much. Uh oh, we got some crowded waters up ahead. Looks like we might be lucky and just shoot the gap right through the middle. RFD 900 gleaming telemetry data, it was streaming. Mission planner, it was freezing. This computer sucks. Drawbridge is tilting up, people riding on a sup. Saw Daniel wasn't paddling, so they called him lazy. Little did they even know the fact that they thought he should row. Didn't make any real sense, cause rowing is archaic. Manual labor is dumb, to technology we succumb. Tech companies are already reprogramming our brains. Uh oh. Uh-oh, we just turned to cross to the other side, because now we're going to go by Gasworks Park. But this boat is coming in, so I'm going to have to put it in hold mode for a sec. Okay, it's far enough along. I think we can go back into auto mode. Here we go. So it's going to turn hard left, pretty much right into that boat, but it's going to be gone by the time we get there. But hopefully we don't get run over by that one. Okay, now it's going in a weird direction. I think it we might need to go back to manual. Okay, back to auto. And that guy's going over there. Okay, we're good. Except now this guy has to watch out. Okay, we've successfully crossed to the other side. It is a bit of a smoky day. That's how it goes with late summer these days. I am just so glad that we have this awesome tailwind pushing us along. It's definitely helping quite a bit. The, this computer, it must be like thermal throttled right now because it's just so slow. The water's definitely starting to get a bit more choppy all around, but oh well. Oh boy, did we cut this one close. Whew, I can almost touch it. 
It must not have been there when I planned the mission. Oh, look at those big old bald tires. Oh boy. Very impressive. There's Gasworks Park in all its glory. All the little sailboats are out there going around. Wow, there's so many gooses. Holy shizzle. I think we got pretty lucky with the crossing. There's uh, no other boat traffic coming. Just the hot tub boat, but it doesn't go too quick. Uh-oh, we might be on a collision course. Uh-oh, police boat incoming. Full throttle. I bet I can outrun the cops. Oh yeah. Yep. Thanks. Those are some nice houses. Damn. There's a hot tub boat. I don't know why you're doing a hot tub right now though. It's pretty hot outside. Huh, I wonder what that boat does. Oh, it's autonomous! Look out, ladies. There's a tugboat going. It's not tugging anything though. Oh wow, that's a big boat garage. Here we are, back to the I-5 bridge. This would be a noisy place to live with the bridge right there. So when I was coming through this bridge this morning, I went through the pillars over there, but now I'm going through the main channel. That one looks a little bit tight. Oh, big bird. Hello. Yeah, it's solar powered. So pretty soon we'll hit another waypoint and then it'll be a straight shot down the Montlake Cut. It's rain for that solar action. I've gone about probably 15 miles so far today. Really? Yeah. Wow, good to do, man. Colin is supposed to meet me along here somewhere. If you have a sea shanty stuck in your head right now, you have him to blame. What am I on there? Oh, uh, it's a solar powered tugboat. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, this tree fell into the water. Damn. Oh, it's taking a lot of waves over the solar panels right now. Oh, what's up, Colin? Not a lot. How's the boat going? Uh, the boat's going. It's uh, it's taking a lot of waves over the bow, but that's all right. How's the battery voltage? Um, it's kind of low, but every time I stop for a little while, it recharges. You're moving along pretty good. Yeah, dude, it's moving. It's almost faster than you can walk. Oh boy, look at that thing. Make room, make way. The Emerald Sea is coming through. That thing is huge. It looks like this is the college kid hangout spot. What's happening ladies? Freaking hooligan on a jet ski. Gonna capsize my boat. I'm still chilling though. Can't knock my laptop down. Hello. Hi. What a day. Gotta stretch my legs. I've been cooped up in this little kayak since 8.30 in the morning. Or actually 8 a.m. this morning and now it's 3.30. We probably have another hour to go just about. Tour de la Seattle is going well. life right let me tell you here's a big boat it's autonomous party boat slow down i'm not trying to wake surf here bro i'm taking a little shortcut and going through the construction zone here instead of over there wow it's a crane on a barge probably better i stayed out of that channel okay this is gonna turn right and then we're on the home stretch 
Sailing out upon the lake, almost swamped by big boat wake. Rich people are trying to flex, but their boats can't self-direct. As he passed the nice big yachts, the bikini bays were looking hot. He started to feel like a dork, his confidence did waver. Then again, those big boat owners risk suffering from foreclosure. Daniel's kayak only cost 50 bucks on Craigslist. Two drum motors, amps of burning brass propellers were a churning. Holes were slicing through the sea with oh so much efficiency. I've been going at full speed ahead for so long, which, which is like 1.4 meters per second. Um, and the voltage is only down to 12.6 or 12.7, which is very impressive. It seems like the solar can just almost keep up with full throttle power consumption. So that's awesome. It means I have unlimited range with unlimited sun. This is it. We're coming up on the end. I'm so excited to go swimming and finally pee. I've only peed once all day. I've been going for eight and a half hours and I've covered 20 miles. Better look out. Okay, I'm gonna manually drive it right back up to shore. Power powered? Yeah. Cool. You can talk to him about it in a minute here. Remote controlled? No, it's uh, autonomous. Ah. Good for you guys. Yeah. After a full day on the water, I was pretty happy to finally get out and stretch my legs, then go for a swim with Colin. The boat performed pretty well and I was happy to learn it was capable of cruising continuously at a fast walking pace using nothing more than the power from the sun. That's all for this video, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching, bye.